Love you, Bloodsuckers, and I'm so sorry that this um, video has been taking so long to get out. I've been having recording problems. This was supposed to be out on Monday, so I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into it. So, starting off, when Yugi's grandpa finds out he actually completed the Millennium Puzzle, because it's not supposed to be easy to complete, which, well, I'm sorry. He was surprised because it was not supposed to be easy to complete, which it really wasn't, as Yugi did struggle a bit completing it. However, he did still do something even geniuses, geniuses couldn't do. Now, his grandpa, by checking to see if Yugi had a fe has a fever, which is weird, but okay, checks to see if anything in Yugi if anything changed in you because he says whoever completes the puzzle it will grant them a wish Yuki being his naive innocent self says it did grant him a wish he hit it had give him gave him I'm sorry I'm trying to read this fast so I don't have trouble recording so if I mess up at points I do apologize Gave him uh, friends now this isn't really wrong but it's not really right either because Tia was already there for Yugi always and Tristan wasn't a bully at all even though the series including season one and tries to push him as one of the bullies which with uh Joey but in truth him and Joey weren't really bullying Yugi they were Tristan was trying to protect Yugi from Joey, and Joey, he just w wasn't um, happy how Yugi was basically a pushover. Now, when Trudge attacked both of them and Yugi stood up to Trudge, this made Joey see Yugi in a whole new light and opened Joey's heart a little more and made Joey want to be his friend. Which Tristan, I would say, was already technically Yuki's friend, even though they're trying to push it as he wasn't. Now, after all that, we cut to Domino Prison and conversation with each other. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I skipped the line. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Two convicts are having a conversation with each other. Because it doesn't even show who is talking. So I have to assume it's two convicts. Um, about a breakout. And they say that it's impossible to, to break from there. And then they say someone's name. Which I won't uh, say because I don't want to butcher it. But his nickname is Yolo Spider. But that doesn't even matter. As... The main antagonist is Tetsu Tetsuo Sasaki. As it gets to him in his cell, he says to himself they are fools and that he will escape, which he does as he knocks out a cop, steals his uniform, walks past the whole squad, and took one of the cars. Man, even in season zero, the cops suck. Because if you think about it, cops Throughout all of Yuki, which I think that they only show cops in season one and um, five Ds, I believe, and they sucked ass. Like they literally sucked ass, and season zero even proves that more. Now we get a bit of a funny scene. At the school, once the bell rings, Joey asks Yugi if he wanted to get something to eat. Yugi mentions about them going to eat at Burger World, which I assume is the anime version of Burger King. The camera cuts to Tia standing in the doorway making a funny face as Joey and Yugi are talking. And no, it's not because they are talking about each... Talking to e I might have put about like why I guess I was writing this in a hurry too So I do apologize about that talking to each other friendly I'll get to why she is making that face in a minute now Tristan 
Tristan shows up and goes on about how they aren't supposed to be going anywhere after school but home since that is the rules Joey calls him a janitor to mess with him and Tristan is offended by this but I think it's kind of funny because that is how their relationship really is and especially when it comes to season one season one and they just basically pick on each other all the time now uh, uh where was I Okay, so when Inho says she wants to try Burger World as well, Tristan changes his whole tone, and that's because he has a crush on her now, to why Tia has that face on once she gets hit. <sighs> yeah, I wrote this in a hurry, so I do apologize. So once she gets their attention, she basically says that it's nasty and all that, that's not really why which I'll explain in a minute when because I am gonna skip a few scenes which I did watch the scenes myself but I'm skipping them because it kind of makes humor at um Tia being a escort which she isn't but I don't feel like talking about that about a high schooler because it also carries over to Miho and Tristan as well. So I don't feel comfortable talking about that crude joke in my video. So I am skipping over that for the video itself. But I have watched the whole episode through. So I do know what goes on and stuff. Finally, after skipping through all, all that, um... Crew jokes of Tia and Miho, Miho and Tristan, and some filler scenes involving ah, involving Tetsuo Sasaki. Yuki tells Joey to stop joking around, and this could be serious. So him and Joey decide to follow the, the three. And I gotta give it to Miho; she knows how to play her cards, as she tells Tristan that her bag is heavy to get Tristan to offer to carry it for her. Which he does, and Tia almost caught Joey and Yugi following the three of them, but doesn't so Joey and Yugi finish following them, which lead them to Burger World, which they found the real reason why Tia didn't want them to go in there. And that's because she works there, and Miho and Tristan were made to work there as well, so they want it revealed to Jo reveal it to Joey and Yugi once they are in Burger World. Yugi asked Joey if it was a good idea for them to come there because Tia looked mad. Joey says serves her right for not telling them and Yugi thinks to himself that Tia looks cute in her uniform. Now I'll explain why they're um, doing uh, Yugi and Tia's relationship like this in a little bit so let's move on. Just trying to get this video done fast as I can before I have issues with the recording again. It wasn't wrong for Yugi to say Tia was mad at them as she brought them hamburgers as she did the ketchup and she also did the ketchup writing on both burgers she put tell anybody and I won't forgive you. After that she calmed down and revealed that why she was working there but told them not to laugh at her for the reason so she tells them she is saving up money to go to America and take dance lessons after they graduate and Yugi says they would never laugh about that and Joey agrees and he said he wouldn't he say anything about her working there and if he did he would eat 10,000 of the burgers, then makes a joke about the burgers being drenched in ketchup. Tia walks away and says it's on her, and then a detective who has been chasing Tetsuo came in and explained to everyone, including the manager, that Tetsuo was there in Burger World and that he was a master of disguise. And I assume, uh, 
it was Tristan that suggested they should search each customer to see if it's him. But the detective says not that's not a uh, good idea because he has a gun. <clears throat> the detective then reveals that Tetsuo is allergic to eggs, so Tia being Miss Clever as she is, lies and says that the buns are made with eggs which causes Tetsuo to freak out, but she gets him caught by the detective, he tries to break free and ends up falling on the manager. Which is, well, remember how I said that Tetsuo was the main antagonist for this spider? Why did I say spider, really? Did I just skip a line again? Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get through this fast. As I said before, um... That was the line. In fact, the yellow spider, however... Ugh. Why am I messing up? Damn it. Remember how I said Tetsuo, Tetsuo was the main antagonist for this episode? Well, that was a lie. In fact, it's the yellow spider. However, the spider tattoo isn't yellow at all. It's purple or reddish or somewhere in between. He goes on a whole rant about how after he broke out, he had plastic surgery. Then to Tetsuo... Even while in disguise, he knew it was him at first glance, and the, uh, then he pulled out a gun and grabbed Tia and blindfolded her, walked over to a, a booth, and sat down with Tia and was like, y'all will do what I say, or I will start shooting, and fired one round above his head to prove his point. Then he ordered Yugi to, oh, oh excuse me. To bring him a bottle of vodka, uh... Okay, Tia tried to tell him not to come towards them, however, the yellow spider, who doesn't have a yellow spider tattoo, hits Tia, which brings out Yami Yuki, aka a Tim, and even the love crush Yuki has on Tia transfers to Yami Yuki, which does make sense, so don't say that, don't make no damn sense, because it does. As he calls her his precious Anzu, aka Tia. Oh boy, this man is about to fuck him up. So, the Shadow Realm game for this is you can only move one of your 10 fingers. Yellow Spire chose his ind index finger so he can shoot Yami Yugi. After the game starts, Yami Yugi chooses his thumb. As soon as the game starts, Yami Yugi pulls out a lighter. Because Yellow Spider didn't like his cigarette. And of course, Yami Yugi lit it with his thumb. And smooth as hell, dropped it right, dropped it where it could stand on top of his hand that was pouring the vodka, knowing this would make Yellow Spider break the rules. He grabbed Tia's hand and walked away with her and waited for Yellow Spider to break the rules. Which he did, and once he did, Yami Yugi made him pay for doing so by making him believe he was really set ablaze. Now, my final thoughts on this episode. Well, it's basically it's basically a filler episode, and let's be honest, that's exactly what it is. It's it's a filler episode. However, I did like it. Normally, I'm mixed on filler episodes. This one I really liked. It, it started out slow, but again, I liked it. Now, some people, people probably didn't like it, and I could understand, but I personally did. Um, it also kind of touches on Sutton that the manga, which, of course, Season Zero was supposed to be more based around the manga, the only difference is, there are a few differences, I believe, and one of them being Miho, which is anime exclusive only. But this episode wasn't really about antagonists, more about Yugi and Tia and their relationship. What they're trying to say is Yugi and Tia are together, which Kunami does not say this. Yes, I know Konami is the canon 
basically now. But this is still part of the canon lore. Even though Band This is still part of the canon lore. It's just more for the OCG and all that in the manga canon lore. But, um, basically, Taya and you, you're dating, and they are boyfriend and girlfriend, even though Konami only makes it seem like they're a crush until maybe season four, I want to say, that they kind of put them together. I don't remember exactly. And you can tell this episode is about Yami, well, not, well, okay, yeah, Yami too. But Yugi and Teo, because it focuses on them, and the antagonists don't mean shit, because Tetsuo isn't shown being put in the um, police car after being caught, and yeah, they show Yellow Spider thinking he's a blaze, but they don't show him put, they don't show ooh, him being put in a car or being put somewhere they just drop them right after the that whole incident so that right there and they really didn't have them on screen the whole time either just during the filler filler spots was when they would show up and until like the main event so yeah the antagonists were really needed for this episode to be honest but it's Yugi, they have to have an antagonist, and so they did. Uh, um, anyways, I'm sorry this video came out so late. I am going to try to start doing these a lot earlier. I want to try to get back to my regular schedule for videos. Um, i just been very busy with editing and stuff, but I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful day or night, depending on when you're watching this. Mwah.